so what we're trying to do here is to run Fallout 4, this guy here, through crossover on a Mac M1 without the presence of Windows directly, click and go. In order to run it and to record it with the audio like we're doing now, you're going to be recording it through screenshot and um, you're going to be using loopback audio which is a very very powerful tool which uh, will take the the audio from from the fallout and loop it back into the system and put it on the video that the screenshot is making otherwise without loopback you cannot record audio so if you wanted to make like a video game recording that's uh, the way I'm doing it now I'm using a Scarlett Solo USB device to speak on the microphone uh, at the same time crossover is being fed into the same channels and MacBook Pro microphone and anyways once you get the software you'll see how it works so this is for audio done what we're using today is 32 gigabyte Apple M1 Max, 16 inch, 2021. A little more system report is we have 10 cores, 8 performance to efficiency. And the MacBook version is the following 18.2. Okay, so we don't need that. So I got loopback audio running. I got crossover running, don't need this, and we don't need this. Let's see what happens. The fallout is maxed out, maximum resolution, maximum distance, maximum performance, maximum shadows, everything is maximum. I just launched it twice. So you see how powerful the computer is. It can run two. It can run two uh, games at the same time. And if you have another monitor over here on a side, you can actually run two games simultaneously and uh, the computer will barely turn on the fan. Impressive. So, continue. Here we go. If you do experience mouse problems where the mouse leaves the screen and the screen just sort of stutters, uh, I recommend using a wireless mouse, a mouse that has a direct connection to the computer will give you problems with crossover, for now they haven't figured it out. So now you have the central um, the little dot in the center and you have my mouse over here which I cannot get rid of. It will be with uh, the game throughout. I, however you get used to it. Stop paying attention. So we have maxed out weather, and this is the frame rate that we built. Stay as long as you like. Practically fan. You had me so worried before. All of us should be paying attention. Hey, cards work. Shall I accompany you, sir? No, not now. All right, then. So there's another bug. Whenever you talk to somebody, I accompany you, sir? this is what happens. No, not now. All right, then. Uh, it didn't happen now, but you saw the screen go like this. I don't know why, but let's see if McCready. Hey. What? McCready will do it. Hey there. Your mind. That's all. I'm at me. See, there you go. That's not me turning the mouse. He just looked away. And sometimes he looks away and he does a 360. It's a little bug, but whatever.
can see the performance is fantastic and if I was to run two games at the same time on two different monitors the performance would not drop it remains the same Just the game, that's not the over here. Over. There you go. So that's the performance. So you'll need these two things, loop back, crossover, and fallout. With all the setup, and it took me, I admit, a good two months to perform the correct setup. But once the setup is complete, you can run the game very well. The only DLC that will suffer so much is the, um, uh, the Northern Springs DLC, where the... Uh, um, right mouse click does not function properly that's just within the DLC and so you can't really take aim through the scope and um, some some sound effect issues as well but uh, uh, full release DLCs like Nuka World they're, they're f very very uh, very stable thanks for watching <laughs>